not the first time in history that plague laws have been used to centralize control. Control of transportation, control of labor, control of banking and bank accounts, control of all the different kinds of capital that make up human civilization. But the COVID laws are particularly draconian in the history of plague laws because not only do they control labor, transportation, banking, but now with advances in digital technology, we're looking at complete control through the banking system of 100% of all assets, ultimately. So what, what happens here? For many, many years, most of us have grown up in a world in the Western democracies where we have a balance of power between the bankers and the people. The central bankers control monetary policy and the people vote for an electorate that controls fiscal policy. Now what we're watching with COVID laws all around the world is the central bankers moving in and exercising essentially a coup d'etat where they take control of fiscal policy as well. And again, with the advances in digital technology, vaccine passports will not be about health. Vaccine passports are part of a financial transaction control grid that will absolutely end human liberty in the West. For many years, I have fought and written against central control of the financial system. We've centralized more and more capital, more and more control. And we've done it with tactics called divide and conquer. And we've all experienced many different divide and conquer tactics, men against women, black against white. But now we have a new one called the vaccinated versus the non-vaccinated. Because if you're going to centralize control of every aspect of people's lives and literally strip them of their assets and their property rights, you need a new, more venal divide and conquer. And we can't let that happen.